Hello everybody, so I'm back and I know it's been a while but the Lord has revealed a lot of things and a lot of things have happened that my previous dreams were about about like five months ago which I'll restate for you guys so that we know that this actually happened now and um, I've come to realize that a lot of the dreams that the Lord showed me are personal um, and also for the whole world to see so and I received a lot of new dreams and visions that I'm gonna share with you guys I couldn't keep quiet now anymore but I did have to stay quiet um, because like I said a lot of things happened and I didn't understand them but the Lord showed and revealed now a lot of things to make me understand it <laughs> because they actually happened now <laughs> So I guess once it happens, you're like, oh, that's what the Lord meant, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to state one of them now because this actually happened. And I know you guys remember this one. And I understand it now. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do that first before going into the new dreams and visions. And then I'm going to explain what the Lord has in store <laughs> because it's like wow I did not understand any of that before and it's like I understand it now and that's what I mean the only one you can't even understand anything especially let's just say like revelations right like if the Lord's not the one revealing it it's just you're not gonna get it you're not gonna understand this book if you don't go to God and ask him to reveal it to you that's why it was said to the apostles to them it's given but to the rest it's not because they already were walking with the Lord and that's why the Lord showed them then the secrets because they were already walking with him those who walk with the Lord Jesus will these secrets be given onto so that's why it's very important um, that we also know that our God is Jesus Christ. And I'm going to explain that because of the dream that he has given me, which is definitely going to have to do with the Pope and what's going to happen, um, why that is so important that we know that our God is Jesus Christ. So, um, but I'm going to first explain now what basically has happened to me it's been like this whole process <laughs> of like like this like oh that's what the Lord meant wow did not get that before right and especially with the timing like I said I don't know the hour I don't know the day um, all I do know is that we are pretty close and um, I do I did figure something out the first the 26th it's very significant because it actually is the new moon. So every time, so that it, it is true, the beginning of the month is the new moon and the Lord's confirmed that to me and he's giving me, remember you guys I had the dream when I said it's, a, it's 526 and about 8 o'clock would be a good time. So I figured out from each new moon that each new moon is then like basically like the next new moon would have been 626. Then the next moon would have been 726, which is going to be April now. This April now on this new moon, which I think is in a few days, um, would be 726. So, and I found that out now because of how the dreams went and what he showed me now actually is going to happen now around this time period. It's actually, it's been confirmed. So, um, yeah. Isn't that crazy, you guys? So the first of 26 is meant as in the beginning of the new month, which would be the new moon, which is also 26, which I believe is every 26 days until the next new moon. And we have a few days between new, uh, the new moons, right? We have between two or three days where it's a new moon. So that's why also nobody knows the day and the hour because we don't know... Uh, what percentage still a sliver would be. So that's very interesting. That's why um, I, I didn't even know that before, right? <laughs> so I 
that's something I had to figure out too. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things, but remember, I'm gonna reread this now because this actually happened to me now and I didn't realize it was about five, six months ago when I told you guys about this, tell my people, remember that? I didn't understand that that was actually really personal. But it happened now to me. It happened now to me and uh, I understand now why the Lord said that. And I'm gonna restate that now. And then I'm gonna explain what happened that it makes sense. Hold on you guys, cause I wrote it down. So remember he said, you guys, remember, remember he said, tell my people that I am coming on that day. And when it happens, a small scream, it will happen in the room that we will be in. And especially those that have made YouTube and those that spoke of him are his chosen ones. When it happens, we will still be in the same room. And the red owl was to the left. And while I was looking at my YouTube video of me speaking about the fireball, then I started you crying afterwards, like desperately crying. And then I was driving, I was driving and then I got to a circle and then I turned back and I actually drove back. And that's really significant because um, I am gonna do that. And the Lord, showed me everything now on that well not everything but uh to the point that i understand now what's gonna happen right at least far enough uh that he has prepared me for the day so um that's really significant now because remember i also told you guys i was put down at the building and i was with that one girl at work who um, I was standing with, and then all of a sudden, I saw all that right after. So, <laughs> guess what happened? <laughs> um, I basically, I basically was persecuted um, in the sense of my belief. They found out that I was making YouTube video well, because there's different buildings at work, so, and I was at the one, and these group of people, they actually found out about what I do, um, and they use that against me to get rid of me, basically, right? So, that's why, and that I'm actually now sitting at the place, or it was meant to be anyway, so, and I'm actually really happy now where I'm at, um, but... It was meant to be this whole time that I was supposed to go down there anyway. But the Lord showed me that like five, six months ago. And I didn't understand it until now. <laughs> so until like now it happened, right? And while I was going down, they, um, they made the Lord. They spoke really, really bad about the Lord. And they screamed at me for the Lord's name. So for the Lord's name's sake, uh, I was persecuted. But proudly so, right? Like, I was like, I was like inside, like it was really hurtful. But in another way, I was very proud to be persecuted for my Lord's name's sake. So I was like, I got to, I got to be persecuted for his name. And like, that was something to be proud of. And, but I did stay quiet while they kept saying all these nasty things about me and the Lord. And they, like I said, they've now done that to um, get rid of me, right? But the Lord uh, is always a step ahead and, <laughs> and he sent me now to a place where I'm actually really happy. So um, that happened. And the reason why um, at work, I also had like, I had like little drawings that I made um, on like little sticky notes. But they were like about like the butterfly that I showed you guys. It was uh, like a fireball and like a boat. So I've had these drawings that the Lord, you know, showed me in my visions, but they were always on my desk. 
I have never like put anything on someone's desk or something like that that was always on my like on my desk and I've never spoke of it so they then turned everything around and uh, basically took all that like what was laying on my desk and used that against me um, but without do said I don't even want to talk about that further I just was I'm telling you guys now what happened because that's why the Lord said that five, six months ago. And I didn't know, I didn't understand that until now. So remember he said, I planted a seed because in the beginning I was like dancing with them. And it was actually says this guy that I'm related to, that my mom's best friend, who's also like in the cousin degree, they're related, they've been, they're like sisters. And it's her brother that um, is also at work. And he took part in this now. And um, it was said though, at the time, this is why I understand this now. I mean, I told you guys that. Because I was so happy that I planted a seed. And now I understand why I did because of the sticky notes, because the Lord showed me you planted a seed and he showed me the pictures of my sticky notes. And he said, it's because they are prophetic. They are prophetic and that's why you planted a seed. So all that happened now. <laughs> um, so I guess when the time happens, um, I, they'll think about it. But um, like I said, I, I was proud. <laughs> I was proud to be persecuted for my Lord's name's sake. So, um, and I was, I was basically, I was put in a different room now because of it. But that's okay. It was meant to be. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually very happy now. So, but that's why, that's why that was said with YouTube. I have to just read this again because it's like, I can't believe this happened to me. This was like five months ago. So... That's why the Lord said that. And especially those that have made YouTube and those that spoke of him are his chosen ones. That was a personal, it was personal. And that's why the Lord was so angry because you guys, if you guys would have been there when this happened, I mean, they just blasphemed God's name. I mean, this was every, I mean, it was just wow. Like I just was quiet and I proudly took it all in. And I left because the Lord told me to just be quiet now and just go, just leave, stay quiet and leave. And I, and I obeyed and that's what I did. And that's why all that happened. <laughs> so that happened now, you guys, that came true. Just the part, um, that I'm driving away and coming back hasn't happened yet. That is the last step. And, um, Another thing, when I dreamed, here's the thing, you guys. Remember I had the two dreams of the doves? For the first eclipse, we're going to have to wear our sunglasses because we're going to have to, this eclipse has to happen until the next eclipse, in my opinion now, which are both this year total total lunar eclipse just like how my vision showed it was a total lunar eclipse it was a full ring where the butterfly came in and i didn't realize that the butterfly was also personal um that the lord's actually talking about me because i'm gonna fly in with you guys but i'm gonna go back out i'm flying back out and then like then wandering right yeah so I realize now that the Lord keeps on showing me dreams and visions. Um, and now I understand everything. <laughs> at least to that con consent to know where I'm at. <laughs> and um, remember I told you guys, it's been, like again, the two girls, they both wore a red dress. Remember that dream? And um, I was wearing a pale green one, like a green one. And I was saying to myself, when I saw the red dresses, I was saying, oh, maybe I should have worn red, right? But I decided not to. And this is going to be very significant in the new dreams that I'm going to tell you guys now because it's, um, it's actually talking about the horses, the horsemen. 
and what was said to me regarding to that. But um, I'm just mentioning it, it now so that you guys just remember now um, for the time that when I do speak of it. And um, I'm going to jump now into my new dreams. I've realized uh, it's just a lot. You guys, the Lord just revealed so much to me. I can't like before everything happens, I'm going to have to do. He's giving me an assignment to do before all this happens that I can't tell you guys right now um, because it hasn't happened yet. But I know along this pathway that it's going to happen. And remember, I told you guys about this man I keep seeing that is my my eyes are like just glued when I look into this guy's eyes, right? Um, with the blonde hair and the little bit of red. Oh, I know now the Lord has revealed now to me who it is. I actually know this person. So, um, so that happened. That happened. Uh, and I know now who he, who this person is. And I, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I didn't realize the stand of who and what purpose this now is. But the Lord has revealed now the plan to me. You guys, I actually heard him. He called me and everything and things changed. And the last project I did at work on top of it, like was actually my last project. And he showed me that as vision wise, vision wise. And then he changed the heights. He actually changed the heights of it. And that actually happened because I went up and now I'm down. I get a different building. But this building that I'm at now is below that one. So it actually changed heights. I'm just like, <laughs> I just, you guys, like, that's how near we are because, wow. I mean, what he's showing me is a, a happening. So... Um, and like I said, I'm going to have an assignment. This is, I'm putting, the Lord said as well, like I'm taking this with into my assignment. And, um, like I said, I'll let you guys know when it's, when it's far, when we're that far. I can't reveal it yet, but I do know what I have to do. Um, <laughs> I can't believe this happened. Like, I just can't. But it did. So, um, and it's the Lord's will. It's definitely the Lord's will. And I was, this whole time that I was silent, I was just, like, really, like, in shock. Because, I mean, it has, nothing has happened yet. But he's showing me, like, now what's going to happen. He has prepared me now for that before we're actually gonna go before the rapture so this is an assignment now that i'm taking into my assignment before the big the big deal right and i'm just like this whole time i'm like why like how like what happened like yeah <laughs> so but like i said i can't reveal it yet i can't reveal it yet until the time is right However, uh, I'm going to reveal now the dreams and the visions that he has sent me that have to do with the big deal, <laughs> the big deal. Um, and as to why I keep having this green pale clothing on me, because like I said, the butterfly flies in and then the butterfly flies back out. So there was a part... <laughs> I had a dream in the beginning that has to do with the assignment that I'm taking in with before the big deal one, right? So, but then he showed me a vision and a dream that comes right after that. So, in this part, I walked into like a big meeting. I walked into a big meeting and there was a butterfly in a cage. And it was said, who is going to be the who's going to be a princess and then the butterfly and I know it was between me and this this girl 
uh, a woman. So it was between me and this woman. And there was more people there. There was more people there, but I knew now, and I knew they were going to get something too. But it was just between me and this woman now, and it was said from a chef, from a boss, um, who is going to be who's going to be princess. And I just like I just knew because I went basically like on the table with this woman, but I immediately went on my knees and I'm like I just my spirit was just. It was just so powerful, and I just looked up, and I knew that butterfly. <laughs> I just knew that butterfly belonged to me, you guys. Like, <laughs> and so when he opened up the cage, when he opened up the cage, this butterfly came out, the blue morpho that I keep showing you guys, and it's like this big, and it flew onto my forehead. Okay, so first it was like flying here. And then it, the butterfly was going to choose now who it is. And it just flew right then straight on my forehead. And I thought it was going to fly away again. But it didn't. It didn't. And it just was on my forehead now. And I knew it wasn't going to come back off. And it was alive. It was alive. And it was big. And then I heard the boss uh, say... Maybe you can help us build the stairs. And, but, oh, sorry guys, before that was said, I forgot now, before that was said, someone else came in and he said, how, um, uh, he's this and she's this. And then it was said, aren't you too young? And then I said, I'm only too young because of this butterfly. <laughs> So I said, I'm only too young because of this butterfly. And then like the biggest smile came on the boss's face. And then after that, that's then, that is then when I heard, maybe you can help us build the stairs. And then I, after that, I saw everybody else getting like partners. They were like getting partners with, with others. And I knew it was a woman and, and a man so a woman and a man they were like all partnered up after that happened and um, I know they had like different animals but I just knew the butterfly was for me so here's the catch I did not know this you guys remember I keep saying there's an owl on my forehead um, remember that was like put stamped on my forehead and it came to um, here on this side and then it went up, so it started here, and it formed to a crown, and I had like an owl, like basically engraved on my forehead, and it was gold. Well, guess what, you guys? What I found out, <laughs> the blue butterfly, look, did you guys know behind this butterfly, it looks like an owl? You guys have to see this. I'm going to show it to you guys on the phone because I mean do you guys see this it's actually that isn't that crazy I was like when I saw that I was like what's going on <laughs> right so the owl is on my forehead and I'm understanding it now because I am deciding well I'm, I'm going to sacrifice myself. That's why I'm jumping in with you guys. And that's why I saw that with the white horse. Because of how I understand it, I'm going to fly in with you guys during the white horse period. But between when the black horse and the, between the black horse and the red horse, I'm flying back out. And that's why the owl was when the Lord showed me the four circles that actually make seven. And that's why, remember he said it will create, the fireball will create seven contractions, seven seals. Um, and he said, I have to go all, we have to get all the way to here. And he showed it to me at the end of the four that actually makes seven. And the owl was in between the four 
circles as in like it had passed two and it's at that point and I have to get to the end and it's like okay like I'm understanding now <laughs> I'm understanding now what's happening and um this is basically this is why this assignment now that I have to do before the big deal, right? Before the rapture. Um, I have to mix myself in order for this person to cross over. Um, I'm sacrificing now myself. Well, I'm mixing myself in the hope that this person is going to cross over. Um, which the Lord also spoke to me. He spoke to me and he, that was his words in the hope, not from my hope, but in the hope that this person will cross over. And um, in that I am mixing myself. Also knowing I want to sacrifice myself now for the Lord when the time comes now. Um, and that's why the Lord chose me every single time Um that's why Woods puts, right? Because I'm gonna be washed and the Lord is gonna heal my feet. And I'm gonna explain that. I'm gonna explain that because I didn't understand that before. Um, and I'm also with the new dreams that I have. That's why the Lord is healing my feet. He put a washcloth in the bath on my feet and that's why he said try again after after that happened with speaking with the nominee patre right and then that's when i was on the road in the pathway with the beast with the shark and the witch the wave coming and the apostles came out with the waves on the side i understand all of that now you guys and i would have never understood that if it wasn't for the lord revealing it to me that's why um, don't ever go off of a man's understanding because our brains are like peanut. <laughs> so, and um, it was said, it was said, um, the red horse will try to get me. So this is now a new dream, right? The red, the red horse will try to get me at ro hotel room 11. And remember I showed you guys that picture with the gate that looks like two? It, with another vision that I saw, so I'll explain that. But the red horse will try to get me at hotel room 11, but it will be the green horse that will take you. And then after that was said to me, um, the person that said that to me said, with all, how can that be? How is that possible? How can that be? So I don't know what's going to happen now after that with me. I'm not that far yet. The Lord hasn't revealed to me yet that far. But it was said to me that the red horse will try to get me. And that's why, you guys, that's why the dream I had, I wanted to put you the red eyeshadow on, right? But that girl took it away from me and said that's mine right and I never took it on and that's why again with the two girls that wanted to wear that wore the red dresses and I at that split of the moment I thought to myself oh maybe I should have worn a red dress but I didn't I didn't it was not for me and that's why that correlates with that so the green horse is the pale horse. It's, it's death. He's going to try. He will take me. And that is the fourth seal. That is the fourth seal. And that's why the Lord said, we have to get all the way to here. And it's actually the fourth seal. And I also had then a dream. Because I'm like, Lord, please help me understand. <laughs> I'm like... Help me understand this because this is like a kid not, I just was in shock, right? And then he showed me, he showed me that the black horse could not get me. 
the black horse. I didn't see the white horse. I only see the white horse with others. Um, the one that I planted the seed. I saw him with the white horse. Um, but the white horse, I, I don't see. I don't see. I've only seen the black horse and I've seen the sword of the red horse, but I've seen the I've seen the green horse now. But the black horse tried to follow me, but he can't. Like he could not get me. The red sword that was on the ground that I told you guys about also did not touch me. It tried because it was there. It was in that place where I was at but it did not get me. Um, but I saw then now recently my new dream, I saw, and it was a vision like, because the Lord showed it to me twice. I saw the green horse running in a pathway, like, like galloping, going this direction. And I saw that twice. And after that, I saw it was like a lake, but I felt like you guys, I think I was in Africa or something. I just, I was not where I'm at right now. I was definitely like in Africa and I'm going to tell you guys why because of the animals. But it was like a lake kind of place. And um, it, the water after that, after the horse, that water turned green. That water turned absolutely like dark green. And... I saw then first a tiger fly, and then behind it I saw um, zebras flying, and then I saw gorillas flying, and they all went down to the left, flying to the left, and in front of them was like a white light, so the white light basically and the animals followed it, going up, not straight up, but going like diagonal up, and it was definitely like animals that would be in Africa it was around that area so I I definitely saw the green horse now and the Lord keeps on confirming it to me and especially with the next dream as well that I had um, that I had now recently I again confirming this now with the horseman I was in a building with my mom and my sister and her husband. And again, something with pizza. Something's going to be with pizza when the time happens. But um, after that, I came to the sink. And it was a building. It was high up. It was high up. It was like the highest room in that building that we were in. This room. And there was a sink. And... But it was closed. There was only one little hole for the water from the hose to come out from the sink. And I put that on all the way and I washed my hands. I washed my hands after the pizza. And then I wanted to sit, I sat on the couch and I wanted to rest. I wanted to rest. I was going to rest. Like I was about to rest. And I was about to close my eyes and all of a sudden from behind me, bam, <laughs> again, the forehead, again, the forehead. And this force was pulling me down on my forehead. It was a force. And I, for some reason, I thought it was my mom doing that to me. Um, I thought it was my mom. And after it was like, I mean, I could not move. I could not move you guys again. Every time this happens on my forehead, I can't move for like maybe like a minute. And then when it was gone, I was telling my mom in the dream, I said, Mom, why did you do that? How come you did that? And she said, I did not do, I didn't do that. Like in the dream, it was not my mom who did that. And I'm like, oh, well, who did it then? And then all of a sudden, um, I saw my sister outside but in this room now, talking, so someone from outside must have came in the building that she was now talking to, uh, with, in, in the room. But as soon as that happened, then I said, okay, well, I, um, I might as well go out now and get, get some people too, right, to talk to, obviously about the Lord. 
And so I went down the stairs and I went out of that building. And all of a sudden when I came back, when I came back, it was, when I came back into that building, on the first floor, there was a lot of people there. Not packed, but there was a lot of people there that I, like strangers, that were not there before. And I remember a lot of them were wearing black. And I knew it was hunger. I knew there was hunger and I knew they were hungry. But I felt very sorry for them and I wanted to help them, And but I was here with them, okay? And I wanted to try now, I wanted to go back upstairs to go get food for them, right? Because then I could see, it felt like it was more like a homeless shelter than at this point. And when I came out, uh, sorry, when I, I went a little bit to the right to see if there's more people and there were in that room. And then when I came back to go back up the stairs, I saw a man with a child in his hand. It was a baby boy. And then that's when I was like, okay, I'm going up. I have to find some kind of food to help, right? Like, that's what I was thinking. Because he actually was holding a baby boy. And, like, it was a father and his baby boy. And I just, my heart then at this point was like, I have to get something now. And I, then as soon as I was going up the stairs, I saw that there was a table as in, like, you could donate food now. That's the, that's the feeling I got. But on this table was the biggest jar of wild honey from the forest, like wild honey. And it was a darker honey, but it was, that was the only thing that was on this table to eat, was this big jar of wild honey. And I was like, I gotta go up. I have to go up and come back down. Like I have to see if I can find more food, like, because that was like the only, because I wanted to help. I really wanted to help. Like after, especially when I saw this father and his baby boy, I was just like, okay, I'm, I gotta help, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> but then I was going up and when I got back to that floor, all the way up, um, I kind of lost the way which door to go back into because it was so many doors. It was so many doors and I like, forgot which door it was. And then that's when a woman came, and I knew this one was from God. I don't know if it was an angel now, but I knew this person was now from sent by God to help to help me now find which door to go into. Um, and that's what happened. She's like, "Oh yeah, I'm um, I'm used to it by now. Um, it's this door." And like she really helped me. I'm like, "Oh yo, thank you, right." <laughs> So then I went in and, and as soon as I was back in, I'm like, oh, I remember now. I remember now where I'm at. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I came in and then I've realized there was a girl already outside and I had to close the doors because I knew these people weren't allowed to come in now anymore, like in that doorway, uh, because I knew if they did, like it was going to be over. They were going to do bad things. Um, I had to close the door and I had to lock it. I had to lock all of them. Because as soon as if they were going to be in there, in that room now with me, like I would have been like either a killed, something not good. I knew that. Uh, and then when I got back into that kitchen place, that sink area, um, my cousin was actually there who is very lost right now. Uh, but she was standing there and at first I f was like, oh, I felt a little bit of a fear because I already was feeling it to have to lock all the doors from that what's on the outside. So when I saw her in there, because I thought I had all that out, um, I kind of felt that for that split second and I was kind of hesitant a little bit, but then she kept saying, I am not leaving until I get my sister's number. And I know my sister, uh, when I came back in the room, they were all gone. Like, my sister was not there anymore. My mom was not there anymore. Um, and I just knew they're with the Lord. 
And so when she said that, when she said, I'm not leaving until I get her number, I knew she actually, it was actually meant, I'm not leaving until I get the Lord's number. I knew that was meant by that. And then I gave in and I said, okay, come. And then she followed me all the way into a new room. And now this new room, it looked like it was like a store and it was like circles with racks of clothing in it, on it. Like circles, but placed like spaced out. And I know this video is going to be long, you guys. I'm sorry, but the Lord has shown a lot. <laughs> and here comes the part now with the Pope and what he's going to do. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> um, my cousin was gone then already. As soon as I was in that building now in this room my cousin I didn't see her anymore and I know there was more people uh, now in there that also believed in Jesus and I was already there was like two big aisles okay so I was on this one aisle and to my to across from my side to the le uh, right there was another aisle. And I saw, and like I said, there was a rack of clothes. And I was already kind of hiding by that rack because I just knew I had to hide myself from, from the system. Because I already saw him coming, and I saw the Pope coming. And I'm, I couldn't see his face. I don't know if this is gonna be the Pope that we have now or if it's gonna be a new one. But I know for a fact that it's a Pope. It's definitely a Pope. And he had a stick, like a rod with him. And he had his fish hat on him and he had red. So he had um, white underneath and he had red on him. And he's walking with a few, there was only a few priests with him and the rest was like maybe presidents or other people with him that were in high power but that were like basically like his minions they were it was a one system working together but the lord was leading the uh not the lord <laughs> the pope was basically in the middle they were like following him but it was a system and he's walking in this aisle and i knew him walking now in this aisle, if he saw me, like, it's, it wasn't going to be this part now that, like, if he saw me now, I, he, I wasn't going to be dead yet, okay? It was when he went to the second aisle that I knew now, I, during this time period, I'm going to have to hide myself. He cannot see me, otherwise I'm gone. So he's walking down this aisle, the first one that you were allowed to be seen by him, basically. Um, and he was saying this whole time, like, uh, in nomine patre, like in the name of the father and his people, his system, they were following him. And the other people were kind of like scattered a little bit. And then on the other side was soon it like switched. And he now all of a sudden came in the other aisle. <laughs> And I just knew I had to hide myself. I was hiding myself because I just knew I was already prepared. You guys see what I'm saying? I already knew what I had to do. I already knew he was not allowed to see me because he was going to persecute me now because I believe in Jesus. So, and he's walking saying, in the name of the Father, but in Latin, he's saying, en nomine patre, en nomine patre. And as soon as he came back to that same aisle, the first one, he turned his way and that's when he took out his rod and he was saying, en nomine patre, en nomine patre. And then that's when his minions, I'm going to say minions because the system, these people that are working together, he sent them out to where the other people that also believed in Jesus were at to go capture them now to do whatever I don't know yet with them. So either A, kill them, put them in prison, that I don't know, but I know he was searching for those that were now with me in my room, in the same room, including me. Those I believe in the Lord. And he's going to say, 
he's actually going to say it's going to be in the name of the Father. And I knew now I had to hide. So, but I also knew I had to run. So I'm thinking now tactically how to go from one rack to the other without being seen. And I made it pretty far until I came to the side rack. And I was between a green dress and a purple one. And I knew, and I told you guys, I know he's going to find me. And he does. He will find me. One of his people will find me. But when he does, I act differently. And it might give me enough time with something because he never actually grabs me. I know he opens up the door and he finds me, but I don't know what happens thereafter. The Lord has not revealed that yet to me. And he's showed me too. Anything that has to do with purple is then the time period when the fireball, like not the first fireball, but when the stars start falling down. Um, and it'll be a full moon. When the purple comes, it will be full moon. He showed me that. Um, so he's put me now in between the green dress, which would be the pale horse, right? The green horse and between the purple purple dress of when he's going to find me. And that also resembles that other dream that I had with the sapphire dress. And he found me and he was put in the bathroom, right? And when I opened up the door, uh, I was down there and he was like running after me. I locked the door, but he came in and I was put out and I had like sackcloth basically then on me. Like not sackcloth, sackcloth, but like it looked like that. Um, and he didn't see me in the sapphire anymore. Like I had that tan on now. So that... It's always, it's always confirming one another. It's always confirming one another. And I know he's going to find me. He's going to find me and I don't know what's going to happen thereafter yet. The Lord has not revealed that yet to me. Um, and before I go further, while the Pope was doing that, okay, um, at some point, at some point I saw... In my hand, I had this white paper, okay? I had this white paper and the same thing. I don't know what it means. Maybe you guys know what it means. I know it's Hebrew. But I kept seeing the same symbol written over and over and over and over. And I don't know what it means. So, But I drew it. You guys see this? So it was basically like one. I drew now like more because it kept like repeating itself like over and over the same symbol like so this one symbol it just kept repeating itself so if anybody knows what that is yeah because I, I don't know what it is and I tried to understand what it was in the dream but I can't read it because I don't know the I don't know how to read it but I know what I saw <laughs> so I saw that um so if anybody knows what that means, I know it's Hebrew. I knew it was Hebrew. Um, so that was that. Then I also, I know it's a lot, you guys, but so much happened. So much revealing. I also had another dream that, which makes sense again with my feet. Um, there's going to be, okay, I was in, again, like a swimming pool area. And all of a sudden, the electricity went out. So I know when this happens, when the beginning happens, I know there's going to be um, a Stromausfall. Electricity is going to be shut down because it was set in the dream. And then all the lights went off and it became darker, like in that building, like an indoor swimming pool it was. And I knew and it was said the electricity went out. And the Lord confirmed it to me twice. And I looked, because it's now a different dream. And then I looked in the swimming pool and I'm like, oh, whoa, I was not. Because I'm going to tell myself I'm not going to be afraid, right? I'm not afraid and I won't be afraid to go back out. But let me tell you guys, 
when I looked in that swimming pool, even though I saw nothing in it, it was dark. I, it's scary. It, it's, I mean, I had to take a step back and I had to breathe for a minute because I'm like, whoa, that's kind of was not that I wasn't expecting it to like actually be that scary. You see what I'm saying? But then I went back out and I heard someone say, where's the fire? Is anybody going to start the fire? Hasn't anybody started the fire yet? So I know this fire means the fireball. So this fireball is going to have to do something with the electricity going off. I believe the electricity is going to go off and then the fireball is going to come right, right there after. But I knew the second time I went back to that swimming pool, I knew I was going to jump into it. And I, like I told you guys many times, um, that's why too with my feet, I said, after the Lord said, try again. And then it was asked, who's going to, who's willing to go out to jump in, right? And that's why I said, I am, I'll do it. And again, with the boat, no one wanted to jump back out. Um, but I will. I will sacrifice myself for the Lord. So, I just, I guess I didn't understand all of that. And this whole month that I've been quiet, all that happened to me. So much revealing, you guys. And then I had another dream. This one's really, really significant, you guys, because I saw the Lord. Um, again, it started off with the power going off I was at work and one of the chefs came in and I was doing some kind of project I don't know but um it came in and then the, the one of the chefs said the power just went off so then someone else came and gave me a book and it was a maroon book and I had to do all about um stahl um how am I gonna say this Steel. The book was all about steel, every kind of rule about it, which also correlates, it also correlates with another, other things um, that is going to have to do, though, with the purple time period. This is going to have to do with the purple time period. But, so I have this book now. And then it was said to me, um... Look what I have. There was a girl in front of me, and she said, Look what I have that you don't have. I have feet. And I, I remembered, I stayed quiet because I remembered when the Lord spoke to me that one time. You guys remember what He said to me with the Galilean wedding? He told me, Did you know that at a Galilean wedding, you first wash your head, they first wash their head, and then the feet? So I kept saying that. I kept saying that because I know the Lord's going to heal my feet. He's going to heal my feet. Um, but I also know that I'm, I'm mixing myself. And I do believe that is why I don't have my feet. But I will get my feet back. But I will get them at the end. And that's why I'm going to jump back out. I'm just... I know that's what it is. And after that has happened, I saw the Lord. I saw now visions. And I saw the Lord in the sky. And he was huge, okay? It was like he was clothed with the sky. And he had a sacrifice, like the thorn cross on his head. So he didn't have a crown, like it was the sacrifice, his sacrifice for us. He had that crown on his head, that the thorns, just so big and the blood. And he took one candlestick that was in the sky and he took the other one and they were like this. And he turned to my side, he turned to front of me and he put the two candlesticks right in front of my eyes. He put them right in front of my eyes and he made... Like two candlesticks, like, and I saw them. One was down here, the other one was here. And he put him like this. He like turned himself 
and you put them as if they were like this then. And then after that, I saw a vision of Saturn, the planet Saturn, and I was getting closer and closer to the planet Saturn, which I've also seen a vision before. So, and after that vision, I saw a big castle with sapphire roof. But, um, not in this one now, but I saw the vision of Saturn. I'm getting closer to Saturn, and I... I was then on Saturn, and then I saw a vision of myself um, with that with wings, but with the butterfly wings that the Lord showed me. But not blue now, but as in like alive and transparent white. And I was waiting on someone, and then I, all of a sudden, an angel came, and I knew it was. At first, I thought it was my mom. For some reason, I think it's my mom, but. I know then that it's going to be that it's my goal because I have to wait on my goal for this assignment. And let me tell you guys when he when this angel came like I said I wasn't allowed to see like the body but I saw the wings. It was like mighty. <laughs> Big white feathered wings. And he just came like next to me. And then I knew now after this, like, I'm going to now have to do something now with him. So, um, and that was that. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, after the, after the part um, with the swimming pool, I forgot to mention this. After that, I was back at work and I had all my pieces of paper. I went in one more room, and when I went back out, um, I heard them talking about a cardigan that I had on, and they were laughing at my cardigan that I had on. Did you see what she was wearing, a cardigan? And they were like laughing at what I was wearing, but I had a stack of white papers in my hand. And I went to the boss's room, and I said, okay, chef, and I gave him then all my papers, all my white papers, all my assignments that I completed because I was so proud. <laughs> I was so proud. And I was like, okay, I did my work. And he was so happy. And then he said, guess who has an endocrine appointment? He said it in German, endocrine termin. And I said, who? And he said, oh, who do you think? And then... <laughs> That's when he was pulling me, you guys. Like, as if someone sucks you in, like, right? But it was water, and I kept hearing water rushing. And I was floating away. I was being pulled away like water. And the first person I saw, one of the people at work, he told he had a bottle of water in his hand, but it was not filled. And he said, I do not accept you. That was the first thing that happened to me on my way. And then the second part... All the way to the end, there was a girl, a different girl that came out. She went back into the bathroom where the water was in, but then she was hesitant to go back out, and I'm like begging her. I said, no, I'm saying her name. Stay in. Please, please stay in. Don't go out. I was like begging her not to go out. So she was about to go out, even though she was going to want She wanted to stay in. You guys see? So I was being pulled away of an endocrine Time appointment, but an end of green <laughs> appointment, and I think endocrine is the system of a message, like a messenger, right? It's the messenger system. So that's what that happened. <laughs> I know this is super long, but you guys, so much happened, and it's just like, wow. <laughs> and that's why this verse now makes sense when we look at Revelation. And it says, after the Lord has sealed the 144,000, right? After the horsemen. After the horsemen, then all, it says, yo, the rest have to wait. Like, they have to wait a season until the Lord, uh, until their fellow servants um, are also killed, Right? And then after that, it already goes into the ceiling. 
And then after this, it says, that's why this makes so much sense now. And that's why I saw that vision. Remember, I told you guys I saw that vision of I was in this crowd of people with palms. And then the Lord took me out of that. And I was with him on the ship. And then there was an island and all these, like, these men were coming with crowns. And they were walking over the hill. That's why it makes sense. After the horsemen... After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. So this is after the sealing happened now, okay? Um, clothed with white robes and palms in her hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So, and that's when the Lord then shall opens up the seventh seal, which is the silence, which is silence. And now I just want to prove my point. Um, I know I'm going to mix myself, and the Lord's confirmed it to me because I actually had another dream. I had so many of you guys. Like I said, I know this video is long, but there was just so much. Um, I decided to choose the gray. And I was driving with, because you guys know my brother, he doesn't believe. And in this car ride with him, I was actually put with a car ride with him in a forest. And I was speaking to him and I said, um, Alan, I can't. Alan, I already, I chose to be the gray. Um, he And I knew he was not allowed to choose the gray anymore. He had to choose now between the black or the white. And I said, I, choose, I chose to be the gray. So he has to choose now between black and white. There is no more. Like, because I chose to mix myself. I cho I'm choosing to sacrifice myself. This is free will now. Um... And the Lord keeps keeps showing me it, so and I and I know it's gonna happen because it's the Lord in His prophetic. So because I'm mixing myself, my brother isn't gonna have the excuse anymore to say that he is in between. You guys see what I'm saying? And I knew in that dream he was gonna choose white. I knew it. I had the biggest feeling he was gonna choose white. And the Lord confirmed that to me again with, remember I told you guys with my test that I had? I still don't have the results, you guys. Um, but they should be coming up here now soon. And then after this, I had that circle in my hand. Um, I don't know what it's called, you guys. But it's it's something to like draw with to make circles, that tool. And I'm taking you that in with my assignment. But that's why I was in between the street. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I was in between and I saw pay 500 or S pay 500, right? And I knew to the right they were against and I knew to the left they were clean. I wanted to go to the clean and that's when I saw the man again that I'm always glued onto um, with the blonde hair and tall and a little bit of red. Um, that he did show up on the cleaning. 
So and that is it's prophetic. So and but I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in between because I decided to mix myself. And that's when all this happens. When that's done, that's when that new. That's why that paper came down. That white piece of paper for my next assignment. You guys see what I'm saying? Because that assignment is done now. So, um, that was that. And now I just want to show you guys, because I said the Lord himself, Jesus. Um, and that's why it's so important that we know that Jesus is our Lord, that he is our God, because the Pope is going to say in the name of God. Yeah? And I mean, anybody can say like, okay, God, right? But what God are they thinking of? Here, that's the catch. So it's very important that we know that Jesus Christ is God. God, okay, because there's gonna come a time, because the Lord showed it to me that this they're gonna say in the name of God to persecute those who believe in the Son. You guys see what I'm saying? He's actually gonna do that. So, another thing I want to show the Lord also mixed Himself, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the flowers. <laughs> um, this is the Lord, right? Pure, just white and pure, which he is anyway. But when he came on the earth, man, the word has made flesh. This is what happened. So this mixed with this, right? And became one to save us. Do you guys see why that part of Revelation those that sacrifice themselves now they washing their robes this and they're making them white for the lamb because the lamb was this and mixed himself with this to save us and i just thought it's just so beautiful you guys i i don't know i love i love our lord and it's very important that we know that we're also all sinners and that we have to repent from our sins. The Lord says it in every single every every single church at the end of the church, he's always saying and repent, 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 repent. And it's very important that we know to go into that secret room that I've been telling you guys about, having a personal relationship with God, just giving out your heart to him. You have to have a relationship with the Lord. He's not asking you to have repetitions of prayers, of repetitions of the same thing over and over. That's not having a relationship with him. Have a relationship with him as if like it was your father. He is your father. But you guys see my point? As if you were to talk to like a family member or a friend or you wouldn't be talking to them with repetitions, right? It's the same with the Lord. Having an honest conversation with Him. Making yourself vulnerable. Know that He is God. Know that He's loving, merciful, but that He's also righteous. And that we better go on our knees for Him, right? So, it's just very important that we know that we have to repent. Because we're all sinners. And the Lord's going to have to heal my feet after this assignment. But I know he's going to. Uh, and I can't reveal it to you guys yet. I can't reveal it yet. Um, but it has to do some... I have to do it before um, the rapture. So... Because it is the Lord's will. And But this is why I'm saying it's so important that we know that we have to repent. And a lot of people just don't... They just don't want to believe that. They want to say, all, I ha all you have to do is say, I believe, and that's not true. A lot of people say, I believe in him, yeah, but I have no sins on me. And that's a lie. You're lying to yourself. And I'm not going to sit here and I always say it. I'm not going to preach to you guys um, something that's not true. So... I am showing you guys now the dreams and visions that the Lord gave me 
my interpretation of them could could be wrong, right? I'm I mean I'm a human. I'm prone to make mistakes, but the visions and dreams that I tell you guys are from God and they are prophetic and they will come true. And everything that Lord did show me did happen now and for the things that are still going to happen. And that's why it's very, very important and it shows to every single time, every stage, after a big woe happens in Revelation, after a trumpet's being blown, it says every single time and they still did not repent from their sins, from their idolatry, from their uh, idol worshipping. They still did not repent. The Lord wants His people to come and repent and accept Him. And people still want to believe that they don't have to repent. That it's not important. You have to repent. So, before I close now on this video, I forgot to mention I had also a dream where that same guy, remember I preached and I knew he was a high guy, like he was rich. And his sapphire tuxedo on, he had black hair. And I was really, the Lord spoke you out my mouth through him. And he said, you still don't get it? Remember that dream? So I saw this man again after I was told um, that the red horse would try to get me at hotel room 11, but the green horse will take me. Um, right after that, I saw this man again, and he was in a building, and I knew he was a boss of a big group of people, and he took a step out. And when he came back, because I saw him and I know he saw me, when he came back in the building, I saw um, I saw that the Jewish people, it was all of a sudden a, like high priests of Jewish people, like priests, they're high priests. And they were basically already angry with him saying, how come you did not tell us that you're signing out? You're supposed to sign out and you didn't. And now basically he was in trouble. And I saw these Jewish priests take him and put his head on, like his forehead onto the counter. And like they were all Jews. And they put his head down. So I saw that. And another part that I saw, um, the Lord took me to the place that he was persecuted and I saw and I know the people that killed him now okay and I know I have a feeling you guys that this was my brother I wasn't allowed to really see it but it happened after seeing my brother and then he was wearing white and I saw the spear and the spear is the person that you know speared the Lord and I saw the Lord and he said to me you have to look at your age and after he said that while I'm being at the place that he was persecuted in the temple that he just now was basically um, assigned now to be crucified, right? Ordained to be crucified. I knew it was after that. That's when he said that to me, you have to look at your age. And when he said that then to me, I saw then this man, which I think was my brother, um, in white, but begging the Lord then, please forgive me, please, please forgive me, please forgive me, like begging him with his arms out and the Lord just kept looking straight, but he had white on him. So I have, I have a feeling that that's my brother, but I could be wrong on that. Um, I could be wrong on that. But that's all I wanted to say now. And like I said, I love all of you. And till the next time. All right, bye.